Hey everyone, how's it going today? Crypto Foxy here. Hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Hopefully you're getting a little bit of rest and relaxation and maybe spending some time with family or maybe you're just working, you know, it is what it is, right? But, you know, today we're going to talk about um, how the Ethereum ETF could have an impact on altcoins. Could we see um, a new altcoin rally? And is this the last chance to buy altcoins for cheap? So we're going to jump into it in this video. Make sure you guys smash like button and subscribe to my channel as well for more cryptocurrency news. So Ethereum ETF trading kickstart a new altcoin rally. Can could this be a uh, potential? Absolutely. In my opinion, I think that uh, you know Ethereum ETF could actually bump start something here. Um, this could be a calm before the storm, so to speak. Um, with a potential introduction of an ETF could ignite a major rally with altcoins as they are presenting an attractive entry point. I know I'm reading from an article, but this is something that I also feel as well. And it just gives me uh, something to kind of go on here. Um, it's showing signs of a steady rise and appear poised for explosive growth. So that is true. A lot of altcoins are still down, you know, massively 40 to 60% in some cases. And uh, there are some very attractive entry points, but you know, which cryptos should we really be focused on? Which ones do we think are really going to move? Is that, that is really the question. Um, so this could set off an, a broader surge and uh, they got a couple of ads in here. So I'm not even going to go over that. Solana, actually Solana, that's why I picked this article. Solana really sets the stage sometimes here. Um, they stand out with fast and low cost transactions. And they're also the backbone behind a lot of major um, meme coins. And that brings me to my first point is I think meme coins are is going to um, basically start the rally. And uh, by that, I mean, you know, we could see Ethereum meme coins, Solana meme coins. Uh, we could also see um, uh, we got base coming into play now, and there's many other chains that are now, you know, accepting or adopting meme coins as, you know, uh, fundamental on their, their chains. So Solana though, has basically solidified itself as the, you know, the cheapest option for meme coins. And, uh, you know, the last couple of runs has been, uh, you know, nothing but a shortage, no shortage of uh, meme coins on Solana, that's for sure. So that's what we're going to be watching meme coins as well as um, AI crypto. Uh, coins such as Render or RNDR. Um, this tech allows artists and studios to use sh uh, shared GPU power, saving both time and money. So that is a, a possibility as well. Let's jump over and go over to uh, Coin Market Cap here. I'm just going to share my screen. So, coin and when looking at Coin Market Cap, in my opinion, I think we are going to see a big boost in AI coins. Um, along with meme coins. So in my opinion, I think, you know, if we get some good news out of FET tomorrow or ASI about the merger, um, waiting on hearing about, um, they're having a, an, a Twitter space or X space tomorrow, and I'm waiting to hear on phase two of the merger, you know, when that's going to be completed and such. And I'm expecting to see a bit of a bump there in price for them once it's completed. Um, we can also see the renders also, you know, very attractively priced right now. Um, we've got Injective and BitTensor and Graph is also very attractive. And we've got some newer ones coming up as well as AIOZ Network is a one that I've been watching. Um, we've got quite a few here that PAL AI, you hear a lot of talk about PAL. And, you know, some of these are down massively in market cap. I mean, PAL sitting at 276 uh, million right now. Um, so there is a lot of really, really good picks out there. And, you know, we go and we uh, jump in, even let's look at Render just because it's in the article here. So Render over the past, oh, I meant to hit the year there. Render over the past year, I mean, we uh, we topped out, uh, let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger. Apparently I can't today for some reason. Anyway, so Render topped out about 13, you know, a little over $13, sitting now at seven. So that is a, a pretty much half price, 50% discount in my opinion. So there's a lot of coins and tokens right now that are trending very, very low, um, basically undervalued in my opinion, oversold. And, uh, you know, I think we are going to see a little bit of a, a little bit of a bump here. Also, if they, you know, the Federal Reserve decides to cut interest rates, we're also going to see uh, another boost from that as well. Uh, that is uh, not coming up just yet. I believe that's in September. I know the Bank of Canada is cutting again, and I bl believe the EU somewhere over in Europe is cutting as well. So, you know, this could be setting the stage basically for the next bull. 
And, you know, my opinion, I think we're going to see a huge jump in cryptocurrencies in the fall, probably in the, you know, the end of September, first of October or middle of October kind of region somewhere in that area. You know, all these things are starting to set in place. Ethereum ETFs coming in, uh, potential rate cuts. And then, um, you know, obviously the bull that we are expecting as well. So, you know, guys, make sure you guys are locked in. Make sure you guys are, you know, researching all these cryptos because this is the time to buy. Don't buy on, on you know, when things are up massively, green candles, everybody's euphoric. That is not the time to be buying. Don't get caught in FOMO. Um, obviously, none of this is financial advice whatsoever. I'm just giving you something else to think about. But that's what I got for you in this video. just want to thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next.